We too. And uh, you are listening to www.rootsregularradio.ca. Thank you people for giving me a voice. I decided after last week, the responses and the, uh, the night we had at Remix Lounge was very positive. Lots of people showed up in support. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. You were there. Yeah, I want to you. <laughs> the man called Z. No, I missed it. So, um, thank you. I can hear myself. <laughs> I have <voice> now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm fine, yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> so yeah, um, the the abuse that women face is constant. Like I said, it's from the dawn of time. It's not news to anybody. And the more I talk about it, the more I hear about it, and the more letters I get, and the more inbox things I get. And, you know, the stories are endless. So since it is an hourly daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, decade, centuries long beating of women. I will talk about it every single week when I come here. This part of the show is actually sponsored by my sister, Miss Kelly Chalmers, Princess Wabi Sabi Energy Healing. And uh, she's given me two boxes, two gift boxes, with some very cool stones in them and purple, turquoise, clear, light with pink. For those of you who understand the Ricky culture and all of that, these things are here for auction for anybody who wants them. Um, all proceeds go towards um, Nanny Mystic's sons. And uh, if you want to bid on this, you can inbox me or you can send an email to um, Canadian Reggae World at gmail.com. And that's Canadian Reggae World at gmail.com. As I was going through um, looking at last week's information and stuff, um, I should mention that uh, Uhuru Anderson, a very close friend of Nani Mystic, has Nani Mystic t shirts available and will be at Remix with me tomorrow night for a little reggae vibe for all you artists out there who want to come out and showcase, come take a look at what it is. Please don't call me and ask to showcase or come tomorrow night expecting to showcase unless we have had some conversation. We want to keep it on a positive tip and a professional tip and put the artists out there. And the young lady performing tomorrow night is Miss Belinda Brady. And she has won many awards um, for um, her work with um, women worldwide. One of her songs was actually the theme song for them. And um, in doing my research, um, I checked out a lady called Leslie Morgan Steiner. She's a very affluent, rich white woman. And um, check her out on YouTube. She talks about um, being a victim of um, domestic violence, where this very rich, yuppie white woman was held at gunpoint and beaten twice a week by her husband for two years. And she didn't look like the typical abuse person because she is rich and white, but domestic violence don't care who you are. Domestic violence is very similar to cancer, it doesn't care. And in, in discussing things, you know, the, the question everybody will ask this, the, that comes up is, why do the women stay? And she, she addressed that. So check out Leslie Morgan Steiner. Um, some of you man them out there. Some of you man them who want to stand with me and defend the woman them. And some of the man them out there will beat the woman them to overstand says sometimes you yourself are living in a cycle. Your father used to beat your mother and your grandfather used to beat your grandmother, so you decide says your time to beat your wife. There's nothing more cowardly than actually picking on somebody who is 30 to 40 pounds less than you, not even close to the same muscle mass, and beat them once a week, twice a week, in front of your children. 
that's the most dangerous thing of all because you just continue the cycle. So maybe because it's normal to you to beat up people. No sir, it's not no, it is not a normal thing, it's not a it's not an uplifting thing. And if you want your son and your daughter to rise, we have to stop making the system abuse ourselves. Kinda like the whole bleaching thing with black people. It's like really? One out of but some people believe that a lighter skin color will work for you and make you feel better about yourself because your skin light. <laughs> you know, the level of self-abuse that many within the black community are willing to do, including uh, domestic violence, is a constant. And a very wise man once said, emancipate thyself from mental slavery. None but yourself can free your mind. It's a very simple thing. You know the difference. Everybody has a moral code and a conscience. So, yeah, them feel step up and talk to the man, them ready to be beaten. And some of the women who actually go looking for those relationships because they come from abuse themselves. Uh, you can't talk about it, you know. Your children don't need it. Your children don't need to see it. And continue and perpetuate the behavior and having your daughters grow up feeling unsafe because them, them father beat their mother, that means their father now defend their mother. So the, so the insecure factor for children, boys and girls, is that there's no protection, even from their own father. So what is the confidence level when these children grow up? Black people talk about all kinds of things. It's the simplest things you can start inside of your home. Protect your home, protect your children. Yeah, that's my little spiel upon the domestic thing. If anybody want to talk about it, and you can give us a call at 416-651-0101. That's again, 416-651-0101. And, you know, if you're willing to say something, if you have an experience, if you have a shelter, if you have a, 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 a thought to improving the behavior, or whatever it may be, um, feel free to call it and share some words with people, because... What I'm finding is that since I've actually said something about it, more and more people have, have approached me, which means that them dying for talk, them, them, them dying to hear, to, to be heard, I would not help them, so everyone can call in. Pause it. Yes, ma'am. The views expressed during this live program are not necessarily the views of Up Up, Up Entertainment Inc., owner and operator of Roots Radio, but those of the presenter, host, participants, whether in studio or via telephone. It is further stated that Up Up, Up Entertainment Inc., owner operator of Roots Radio, Radio, bears no liability for the content of this program, but will endeavor to ensure that due diligence is exhibited by all parties involved. Enjoy the program.